going on everyone? It's Raiden Designs. I'm coming to you guys with a another tutorial. Um, haven't made one in a while, but I'm back. I've gotten some a lot of suggestions actually of you know uh, some cool tutorials. So I said, why not come at to you guys with something really cool? So uh, after my last video, I just wanted to say take the time to say thank you for listening to people that did listen and watch. It means a ton. To me and uh, thank you for all the uh, amazing support but my last video in the comments and I got a lot of people on Twitter asking me to do these line tutorials and really it's not a tutorial that I usually would sit here and do because a lot of it is uh, you know what you think looks good um, it's not hard uh, they're not you know anything that uh, you know, a, anybody who can't make a shape, if you can make a shape with a pen tool, basically, you can make these. Uh, it's not, uh, <laughs> it's nothing too crazy. But I know a lot of people wanted to just kind of see a little bit of how I do and I go by it. So here's a tutorial on basically the lines, but, you know, kind of the way that I do it. So, of course, I like to start everything around a text. So uh, this is just Planet Cosmos, of course, you can get this on defont.com. Um, it's a free, you know, relatively free font. But the first thing I do is, is I use rulers uh, to make sure that everything is mapped out in the center. And if it is an italicized text or not, you know, I kind of base my stuff around that. So we're going to get right into the tutorial now. And, you know, you can keep the, your text as your top layer. It's not going to affect anything it shouldn't um, if it does I mean then I'm obviously wrong but the first thing you want to do is zoom in I don't care how big your document size is I don't care how big your you know any of it is you need to be zoomed in for this because you want to make sure that everything is hundred percent precise now if you think of this little X point right here this per, you know this crossing point each the document is divided into squares, so anything you do on this side most of the time can be flipped and done on this side. But now that you know, being as this type is a uh, italicized type, it is going to be a little bit difficult to you know duplicate things. You know what happens on one side goes to the other, but we're gonna uh, kind of just mesh with it. Now the first thing I always do is I always like to outline the top, so. With this type of text, I probably am going to do something, you know, simple like that. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Actually, I might go to the T just because, um, you know, that's kind of what I'm, my main, you know, goal is, is kind of to get this T. Mm, that's the only problem with these guides is that they're a pain in the ass. But yeah, you're gonna want to kind of center these, and you're gonna—it's really simple. It's literally just making kind of like a, a triangle type thing like that, and you're gonna want to do something like that. You know, make a shape, a small shape. Make sure these are these corners of the triangle are 100% lined up. We're gonna hit right click, stroke path, color, and for this we will do. Let's do green. Why not? Um, and that's kind of the start of. Of everything now the green I'm gonna get all out of the way 100% first so uh, so another cool thing cool idea would probably kind of be go along this which is the J because I'm using the word justice I don't know why um, but um, you want to make sure that you know of course your spacing is, is pretty decent I mean you don't have to be spot on I mean if you can get spot on you know that's pretty friggin awesome if you ask me but uh, yeah, you want to make sure your spacing is pretty uh, pretty good. And we're gonna. Oh, I don't like how high I went on that one. And you're gonna want to just pull this down here. And honestly, I'm gonna just stop it there. Pull it there. Something up here, and it's really just making a, almost like a triangle type shape. And there's that. And if you zoom out, just so I can show you, it, you kind of start to see the effect starting to, you know, go into play. And this is exactly what we're going to be wanting. So now that we have 
this side done, we're going to work on this side a little bit. And I don't want to use this bottom part just because I have an idea for it. Um, but, you know, you're going to want to kind of do the same same type of situation here. Um, a lot of it is just, you know, is really up to you and how you feel about it. If, if it looks cool to you, then do it. Um, it's kind of the best way I, I know how to explain it. Uh, because, you know, it really is all opinionated. One of the best guys, I will say, that does this type of style, and I, I will credit him because he is a monster at this, is Convex. Um, very, very good uh, example. So if you do want to do this type of, you know, I guess style, it's not really a style, it's more of just something that, you know, you add to a certain thing to give it a, a nice flair or whatever. Um, definitely check out his work because he's got some really, really cool um, designs that, you know, use and incorporate this type of stuff. And uh, him, I'm sure, you know, if, if he comes up to it or, you know, if it comes up, I'm sure he'll put out a, a tutorial or something on that. And yeah, this is kind of what we're starting off with. And yeah, it kind of looks cool. So after that, uh, we're going to start adding highlights. Now, highlights really are, are, are very, I guess the best way to say it is they can be really cool or, you know, they can be really stale. And it, do, it doesn't really matter. You can add them or not. But you're going to want to kind of just add a another layer over this layer is basically what it is. You just kind of follow it and then make it a little thicker though I will say. Give it that depth perception type thing. Of course make new layers when you're doing it. Uh, I don't. You don't want to get in that process of, of not being on a new layer. Uh, so for this one we're only going to do this side because we don't need a depth perception type piece on the left side. here and yeah so it's a lot of it is just kind of uh, replic you know replication and finding what looks good but if you can kind of follow along with what I'm doing I'm sorry it's it's not a tutorial that I can really you know talk a lot and show you exactly what to do because uh, a lot of it's by eye, but I think this will give you guys a lot better of a of understanding of, of really what's going on. So for this one, actually, I'm only going to do that. And it's just kind of going to, you know, like I said, you know, give you a perception of, of what's going on. So now, now that we have, we realize that this, you know, it's, it's an italicized type. So in order for us to kind of get in a cool effect, we're going to do uh, kind of another, this is just how, how you play a trick on an eye or on your eye, you know, you kind of, I think actually you might want to do this a little bit longer. I don't know what I'm thinking right now. Yeah, there you go. Wait. No, you want to do the top shorter. And this is going to be green again. Um, make sure that you, you kind of start out with that green. And then on this side, you do the opposite. Now, the play on the eye is, is usually when it's italicized, you want to have one of these wings, as you guys can see right here, a little bit shorter than the other. Um, it gives it just a play like there is a depth in it. So because I made the top one smaller, I'm going to make the bottom one a little smaller. believe that's right. If not, then yeah, that's right. Okay. And then what we're going to do here is another, once again, another depth perception type thing, highlight. Uh, we're going to do white on the inside. So kind of just or white or off-white. I use off-white just because for printing purpose, purposes, usually the gray, or, you know, just looks better sometimes. Um, and 
This doesn't need to be like thicker or anything. This just needs to be a highlight of some sort. Almost done with this. And we got it. And so that's kind of you know a basic look of what it is. Um of screwing around with text um with these types of lines. Uh another thing that I, I technically do, like you know, I usually will have, and let me just grab a quick, you know, simple font like this, and you know, like the official channel. Whoops. You know, sometimes it'll have, you know, a quick banner text over it or, or under it. You know, I, I will um, incorporate that in with it. So, like, you know, I, I would, you know, add lines under here and, you know, do, do some types of stuff like that. And that's basically, you know, the gist of what it is. Um, now, of course, in the other stuff... Um, for instance, in, and let me open it up actually for you guys real quick. Uh, and actually it's on my new uh, banner as well. Uh, and I think my new header, I kind of did a little, little quick style like that to it. Um, but yeah, a lot of it, you're going to have to do color with white or color with color. Um, you're not going to want to do one solid color. Uh, where is it? Visor, visor. There we go. And as you guys can see, I added little indents, and that's very simple. Uh, once again, just highlight type stuff. Um, here's the uh, example. See how I have banner text like uh, "Proud Member of Sword Gaming." And uh, you know, for uh, boxes, it's just you know really create a box with this the exact same type of like shape I was showing you here, except you know you kind of eye it yourself and do it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope it was helpful. It's a really tough tutorial to do because a lot of it is by feel. It's not really by, um, you know, <laughs> a perp like a purpose thing. I can show you how to make the shape, but other than that, you know, it's really kind of comes down to you. But you know, if you see some people see it, some people don't. Uh, really comes up to you. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, uh, I'm going to try to upload as much as I can. I'm going to try to get another video out by the end of the week. Um, ho hopefully, I'm going to shoot for Friday. Uh, or maybe, to be honest, I maybe Thursday. Uh, we'll see. I actually don't know. Maybe Wednesday, actually, to be honest, because I don't have class then. But we will... Um, I'm going to try so you know very hard to uh, crank these, this stuff out. And... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, the third time I said it. But uh, please leave comments on more tutorials, uh, you know, all that shenanigans that I always tell you guys about. But uh, please check out my self -I. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff on there that I'm sure have got great prices, new stock packs, all that stuff. So check it out. Um, thank you guys all for so much for the support, like I said. And uh, I'm ready, guys, and uh, deuces.